In this video, we're going to process a series of images taken with a DSLR camera. When working with this type of camera, we must always remember to configure the RAW format preferences because if we read the image without debayering, PixInsight's tools won't be able to process it in the right way. To change these preferences, we need to go to Format Explorer, open the RAW format preferences, and click on Demosaiced RGB. It's also important to select the camera white balance option because then we'll know the exact color representation of the photographs in the series. With these settings, when we open the image, PixInsight will decode the color and the tools will be able to access the information they need to process the image. The first thing we need to do when processing this type of image is to neutralize the sky background. In this image, the sky background has a bluish hue. If we create a preview and open Background Neutralization, we can use this area as the reference image so that the sky background color within the preview is neutralized. In this example, we're going to use this tool in a very specific way. As you can see, we haven't defined a region of interest, only a reference image. We're going to do it this way because this image is going to act as a reference for the whole image series. Let's return the image to its initial state. We're going to use the bluish sky in this particular image as the reference image for the sky background of all the images in the series. If we open an image at the end of the series, this preview area is likely to contain the Milky Way, which will have moved to the right. We therefore can't use this area as a sky background reference. To adjust the sky background in this way, the reference image must always be in its initial state with no processes applied to it. We also need to keep it open while we process the whole series of images. Now we're going to start accumulating processes to define the processing sequence that we're going to apply to the series. First of all, we stretch the image. Secondly, we apply a Curves Transformation. Finally, we're going to change the geometry of the image because if we're going to create a video in 4K resolution, we don't need the image to be 6700 pixels wide. So we go to Geometry, select Resample, and change the height to 2160 pixels, which is the vertical resolution of 4K. We're also going to add some bars on the sides so that it's the right width. Now the image ratio is 16 to 9. If we didn't want to use these black bars, we could crop the image to size. We could also choose to apply these two processes at the start of the processing history. Reducing the resolution of the images makes it easier to apply the subsequent processes, so when we come to apply the process container to the series, the whole process will take less time to calculate. Now we've defined the processing sequence, we can save it as an icon.
it's important to undo everything and go back to the initial state. We turn the reference image into an icon, and now we're going to create the image container. First, we add the images. Then, we create the output directory. Finally, we change the name for the output files. This time, we're going to add a prefix followed by a template, which is simply count. This means that all the images will have a prefix followed by a number. At the end, we'll add .jpg so that the images are saved as JPEGs. Remember, in our JPEG preferences, the compression quality is set to 100. Now, we create the image container. and we drag and drop the process container on top of it. All of the processes are now being applied to the images, and we'll look at the results next.